Hello, my name is Henriette. I'm playing you the two grenadiers from the second Suzuki book and my idea is to give you just a few hints and tips to help you play this piece better. Uh, so come and join me if this is what you're working on. Um, I'm going to play up bow on my first note. So I'm starting, actually I'm starting not too close to the point, a little bit in the middle. <laughs> again for you so you can check out my fingerings and my bowings and so on I'll, I'll bet it's time maybe so you see my bows are really quite long and I'm starting up bow the second note in this piece is actually more important than the first note so I'm not too strong on this A but I'm stronger on this one Of people ask me about this and I'm having a very short note so mind that I've got a gap here between my fingers an intricate bowing here down down up up down down here we go down stop the bow after about three quarters then do a short other down bow then go down up bow for about three quarters and here you lift your bow up and you have two long two down bows in a row So then when you're playing open E string, it's just really harsh there. And that's the reason why we have a fourth finger. And here again, we've got the fourth finger. And here at the end, so this is bar 22. I'm playing much more strongly on the C sharp, on the second finger, than I am on the A. When we play, the first beats in each bar are always much more prominent than any of the other beats. So if you want to create a nice lilt in your music, and this is March music, so that has a very strong beat, then play very strongly on the first beats of the bar. That then, at the same time, means that when you carry on and you go into the second half of the Grenadiers, um, the A is not very heavy at all. That's where your strong beat is and not here. Be careful that you don't play this too loud. So light on the A and strong on the D and then stronger and stronger as you go along. Go a little bit quiet. 
quieter because afterwards you're creating a crescendo again. <laughs> isn't it this is where your your the whole of your in introduction and so on has been working towards so you might play out with full long bows so i hope that has clarified a few things let me know if you've got any more questions about this piece uh, at info at proarmstrings.com <laughs>